Let's play the game. Um, helpful if I remember how to play the game. So, hold down a little charge button here. Flying enemies are the worst. They just, they just mock you in the air and can't do anything about it. This doesn't look good. This, this might be a boss fight. Issues that I'm having with this game. And this is totally a me thing, but um, all the like load screens. It, okay, this is gonna be a really silly thing to complain about too, which is why I had to preface it with this is a me thing. <laughs> all load screens are crazy quick, and so like normally I do all my cutting up videos in uh, like the fade to blacks and things like that. You can't really do that in this game. So I have to do it at save points. The problem with save points is I'm always talking when I'm saving. And the saving is super quick. Um, though I'm not in the save points that often. So I gotta train myself again to stay in the save points longer, not talk so much during the save points. These are just like, you know, little things that I've I gotta worry about. Feel my plight, will ya? I just happened to see that that was unlit. Attack them from above. I don't know what caused me to attack them from above, but it works. Okay, you can attack them while they're stunned as well to do damage. Cool. Instant kill me. Am I getting experience from these guys? I'll find a way that's not. I'll call it, but. Oh, come on. That was some bullcrap.
Is he moving right? Alright, where did you disappear to? Is this one of those situations where I'm going the right way when I actually want to be going the wrong way? Feels like. Ooh. This guy is not playing games. Just keep going this way. That's the worst that could happen. What a jerk. Maybe I can attack them from behind? Oh. That too. Look here, you sucker fool. Electric move, all right, in body. Did I take damage from that? Feels like the right way, that is so wrong. Projectile shooting out and nothing. Looks like I'm getting a lot of health drops, which are nice. longest dungeon. Wow. Jumped right into it. I'm just gonna keep going right, because right is always right. Okay. Right is apparently right, and... I probably missed out on a million treasure chests. Can you believe all the stuff that I missed out on? Look at this. A bunch of gold right there. I missed out. A bunch of gold if I just kept going right. What? Like, what is ever the right way? The right way. It's never the right way. I literally just kept going right. And it was right. Man. I might have to go... go back. Oh, 
Alright, alright. Hopefully we can, well... Well, hopefully we can come back. Maybe they'll let me uh, exit the dungeon. Oh. Um, I'm holding down the uh, the R trigger to uh, charge my, my thing. But uh doesn't let you change stuff on there. <clears throat> what? What are you doing here? I could just as easily ask you the same question, Father Pierre. This is not a fit place for the likes of you. You value your life? I suggest you leave at once. Chester, you should at least let Aletta know what you're doing. And that you're okay. She's been worried sick. She's never stopped looking for you after all this time. Not once has she lost hope. That's no concern of, your, concern of yours, Father. Keep sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, and it's liable to get cut off. Oh well, seems these ruins have a little rat problem. Fatal? I warned you not to get involved. Since you seem incapable of following orders, you leave me little choice. Here. Master Stoddart, the black-hearted white knight. Okay. okay. That was 16 damage. Okay. Oh, okay. Guys, 700 freaking hit points. That hit me? Am I supposed to win this battle? Changing things up now. Yeah. Alright, I was like, please let me. Please let me fight him again. Sucker food. Beast. Oh, I, I, I should have known. Dang. That guy's a beast.
Ah. Ah. It's just all going to crap. This boss fight is great, by the way. Absolutely great. Look at this dude move. Hey, don't screw it up. God. Oof. Oof. So, you're not all talk. You actually have some skill, which means I needn't go easy on you. Stop this, both of you. And advise you to stand aside, holy man. See what you're made of. And seize them. Well, if it isn't Lord Maguire, may I ask what brings you to such a place, my lord? What brings me? Why, I merely thought I might come to worship at the seat of my future power. What should I find when I get here? But my top knight dealing with intruders. Well, tell me, who are these people? The clergyman is Redmond's head priest. The swordsman with red hair is the latest adventurer to cross these lands. An adventurer, you say? Hmm, a meddlesome priest is bad enough, but an adventurer simply won't do it all. I imagine he hopes to get his hands on my statues. No matter, we will dispose of him here. That is your will, my lord. I know of a place nearby that is most suitable for meting out a man's final judgment. I believe you'll find it quite to your liking. Hmm, will I now? Very well then, take me there at once. As you wish. You need five knights for me. Because if you don't put at least four knights to guard me, I will body you. A precipice high above the lava pits? How quaint. This should make quick work of him. I guess I'm not going to be able to go back. <laughs> Alright, do it. Simply minded your own business as I ordered. This wouldn't be necessary. But now your fate is sealed. Life is hard. How could you? God will never forget the sinful behavior. You certainly do like to prattle on, Father. Take him to the dungeon. Esther, you're doing well. I leave the rest in your capable hands. You honor me, my lord. I shall find the statue here without fail. Alright. Oh, I'm still alive somehow. Don't ask how. They didn't relieve me of any of my equipment. Those fools. They know how valuable my equipment is. Let me tell you. Very valuable. Boom. Like a double jump for that. I really hope I didn't miss out on anything crazy. The dungeon that I just left. Wasn't it? Like, after the mines, I was just like, oh, okay, you know, I can, I can come back. It's not going to do anything crazy to me. Oh, how I was wrong. I'm getting any, any like money drops or anything from these guys either.
with it yet. The way it makes that noise when you click the button rather than let it go. guys even dying? I think these guys are dying. Just gonna move on. I'm glad touching enemies doesn't do damage because Lay Obnoxious. Alright, that, that fire does do damage. Kind of obnoxious. I feel like this is the wrong way. Ah. That was kind of blast like. Hmm. You know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> None of that was intentional. But I'd let you know. Falling off edges. Sometimes it's a... not that. Ah. I will slice you all dead. do our best not fall off the entry. The bird assault has been vanquished. Oh, I was like, why can't I pick that up? I was beyond confused. Hmm. 
gonna, I'm gonna take a wild guess. They, that's lava, and I can't step in it. Wild guess. Wild guess. Quite certain which ways I hadn't gone. Other than you know that one spot where I can obviously go. Oh, is it kind of weird that like enemies that live in a volcano take damage from fire? I definitely think that's weird. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was like, let me just swing my sword to get that extra distance. Oh. Instead, let me, uh. Let me just nosedive and erase all of my progress. Try this again. HP back, suckers. about that jump. Fireworms and you. Battle lava unharmed. And that's what goes in that slot down. Excellent. Uh, like the most evil boss ever. I'm not even sure if he can die. I don't know if I want to find out. I'm taking too much damage, Captain! Alright, so I believe it was far south where I ran into those lava pools. something the cat shouldn't be getting into. Really? Nope, not this way. Where was it? I like to go all the way back and save. That's the least thing that I want to do die and be like, oh man, I gotta get all these levels back. Gotta go find that treasure chest again. Not actually. Close. 
It is. Do it a little bit more time. Even though I won't be making any cuts at this point, but I guess you never know. I could surprise even myself. Wait, can I... What's down here? Okay, I think I recognize this area. Yep, this is just where I was. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where to go. Which is really silly because I had found a way to go before I got lost. Maybe it was past all of the uh, crazy little bug beat. Way around. Might not know, but I might know. Yeah, get in my way, you crazy creatures. All right, I think I have to do this obstacle course. Silly getting lost. Especially when you've already been where you go. I don't need any problems. Yeah, okay. Apparently, this is considered shallow lava. attack and he whelps dead. Desperately trying to jump up there. But it would not let me. I have a feeling I'm going the way that I don't want to go. Let's not go this way just yet. Go directly north. Let's just pray that there's a treasure chest up there. If there is, I'll be happy.
Uh, okay, I was like, that. I was really hoping that would not insta kill me. Uh, oh, DPS increase. And look at that, it was totally worth it. different on my model? I don't think it does. Alright, birds. He's getting in my way. Attacking me when I don't want to be attacked. Holes and problems. He did not respond yet. So this place is going to be. Oh, I really thought that I was doing such a good job of challenging that. Like, I'm just going to keep on rolling. And you can't do anything about it. Just in case. I'm looking at the clock and like, oh, 40 minutes. I was talking a little bit before the stream. Did that look like shallow lava? Be some sort of like worm boss or something? Or no boss. Right up here, just look at like like the distortion. For whatever reason, it is just following the like it is just that specific part. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a like the pillar. It's just right right up there. Look at the very top corner. Okay, you can see a little bit of like the distortion, and you can kind of see it. It's like an interesting little camera lens thing, and it just it just follows that little upper part. The little strong J. Kind of weirded out that there was no boss there. I feel like I'm missing out on something. Maybe I fight it on the way back. The Ventus bracelet. Does it have a Roxas counterpart? Uh, press the magic key, spins your whole body like a blade of whirlwind, activate this magic while jumping to glide through the air, crossing wide chasms with ease. Requiring at least one emerald. Um, transform into a vicious tornado. Oh, you've come. With that uh, mage guy? Yes, it is. It would seem you've acquired two of the powers of Genos. Cannot simply allow this to pass uncontested. The blazing jaws of, of itself shall consume you. I don't know what I wanted to replace that with. But I just didn't say it. Interesting. 
Oh. Wasn't very nice. Clean the fire eater. Oh dear. Okay. Got a lot of HP too. Took uh, collateral damage there. Um, uh... Ooh, I got forty four hit points. Oh, is he getting smaller? I think he is. Oh, oh. Sucker fool. Points against his two hundred and seventy eight. Oh. He is mad fast now. He got eleven hit points. If I take like one hit. Life is hard. Seven hit points. We'll go the greedy route. Greedy route. Oh, keep going. <laughs> All right. 
Um, remember that thing that I pointed out about the, uh, the thing? You can actually still see it here. Look closely. You can see it. Some sort of graphical effect that they just basically put on that side of the screen. Very interesting. Very noticeable. If Like, once you see it, you can't unsee it. One of those things. That'll probably help me get across. I wonder if those will help me kill uh, those uh, those little bugs. The annoying little bugs. Sadly, there's not a movement skill. of increasing my ability to the point where I move faster. I had to keep uh, clarifying there because you know, I guess if it lets you fly for a limited amount of time, you can probably call it a mobility skill. like a little bit of delay on that. It was one of the most tragic things ever. It just robbed me on an experimentation. Because you had to do that. What am I supposed to do? This guy's a new enemy. Oh, are those like the little birds and the they just like grown up. So what am I supposed to do with my newfound power? It doesn't gain me any extra height. This is how you kill him. Getting those uh, save points down, you know. Just need a couple of seconds, you know. At least one. Brocia serum, Brocia serum. It's the ability to dash. It'll drink the faintly shimmering water from the bottle. 
power welled up from within his body, granting him the dash ability. Alright. I think I'm automatically dashing, because why not? Bridge is gonna collapse on. Another boss, huh? Am I taking damage from that? That was a hot mess. Yeah, that's not doing any damage. Apparently that's only very little as well. Yes.
you can. I legit don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So much going on. Oh, that was really bad of me. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to knock him into the pillars or something. Uh, 20 s- Ah, ah! Suck a free boss. That was like the first time he used that move, too. Seriously, take damage. Ah, oh, what a jerk. battle very quickly. Dang it, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. I can't jump when that happens. Does that hit me? I don't understand. I took damage from that. One more hit and I'm dead. He keeps getting me. With some bull crap. I'm leaving. There's like a like a weak point or something.
I don't know what happened right there. Oh, I was gonna get hit regardless. Talk about an obnoxious boss. My goodness. The Sunset Statue. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna save, you know. I'm ready for the outside. Okay, we're not safe. Apparently we are not safe. Uh, if I have to fight that boss again, it'll be too soon. Ooh, I can go into the mines now. With this uh, tornado ability. It just dawned on me. Now all I have to do is remember... That I can go into the mines now. Wow, that was just barely. Supposed to drop down? Yes, so. Hmm, that was faster than I anticipated. I had every confidence you'd make it back alive, and with the statue no less, I must admit I'm impressed. I'll hand them over, both of them. Don't play dumb with me either. I know you're the one who defeated that creature in the quarry. Esther, don't! Oh no. Elena? Dogie? Shouldn't be here. Why have you come? Mr. Nell told us that Adol had come here to look for Father Pierre. Dogi had just returned and was going to follow him, so I came too. No end of trouble, I swear. Freezing my butt off, climbing the Elder Mountain with monsters all around me and no equipment worth anything. So I go back to town to regroup and try again, and what do I hear? The mayor's been hurt and Adol's off at the ruins. And Chester, you've been missing for six months? What the heck, man? Esther, I don't mind that you become one of Count Maguire's knights. No matter what people say you've done, you're still my brother. If you're truly following your heart, I would never stand in your way. But why? Why are you doing this? Why would you kidnap a priest or try to hurt Adel? And how come you never contacted me even just to let me know that you were still alive? Are you done? <laughs> Dang. I left town because I found the menial existence offered me there to be utterly repugnant. Wasn't thrilled at the prospect of babysitting you for the rest of my life either, Elena. What? I thought that if I became one of Maguire's knights, I could move up in the world and make something of myself, as opposed to living a peasant's existence in some backwater town, biding my time until I die of boredom. It was all dragging me down, Elena, living life in a place where nothing matters is the height of tedium. Not just one element of it either, but every part of every day. You, the town, my past, everything, all meaningless. What are you saying? Chester, you suck a fool. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? I could ask the same thing. You have no right to feel indignant, Dogie. I simply chose the same path in life as you. 
Or have you conveniently forgotten that you abandoned Redmont on a whim eight years ago? I, uh... None of us are children anymore. Keep your statues for now. I'm sure they'll be safest in your care. And he's like, alright. You can keep them from now. I, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fight you and Dobie. As I said, I became one of Count Maguire's knights to rid myself of my past. That includes you, Dobie. You are no longer part of my life. I suggest you forget about me and move along. Get in my way, and you'll be very, very sorry. Now, you know you can't take both of us. Still can't believe what happened at the ruins. I just... I mean... I... Well, what can Chester possibly be thinking? Mayor, I hate to say this, but we have a larger concern at the moment. The closure of the quarry is bad enough, but to threaten a priest on top of it all? Chester is a factor, yes, but I think our first priority should be Maguire. He is indisput indisputably the root of our problems. Yes, you're right, of course. Bishop Nicholas, you have an inkling as to what Count Maguire may be after. I'm afraid not, but then he's never been one to talk openly about his affairs. His wife and their two children attend morning mass without him always. I do find it hard to believe, though, that he'd try and claim authority beyond that of the church. What would you suggest we do about Father Pierre, then? As head of the Felgana Diocese, it is my duty to oversee the well-being of all members of the clergy. When I return to the castle, I intend to have a talk with the Count. Fear not, I should be able to secure Father Pierre's release. Much obliged on that. I'll leave Father Pierre to you, then. Thank you. Must say, though, I'm a bit concerned about these statues Count Maguire has Chester searching for. May we see the two you found thus far, Adel? It'll produce the statues from his pack. Interesting and very unique. So the big critters were guarding these. I sense an unusual power from within them. It's possible there may be a link between these statues and the recent monster appearances. What? How do you figure? Well, this is pure conjecture on my part. But these two come from the quarry and the ruins, both in which both of which seem to be hotbeds of monster activity as of late. With and each was guarded by a large creature of unusual strength. Does that not strike you as more than mere coincidence? Uh, you may be right. And if that's the case, it would be especially foolish to let the Count get his hands on them. I think we should safeguard them until we know exactly what's happening. What's wrong, Dewey? Oh, nothing. I just get the feeling I've seen these statues somewhere before. What? Come on, out with it, Dewey. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's not like this was just yesterday. It was down inside the old abandoned mine, if I recall correctly. There was a mural painted on the wall. Abandoned mine? An old deep section of the Tigray Quarry that we exhausted long ago. It closed off ever since. We found a really ornate mural painted in one of the walls there. Can't even imagine how old it was. But if memory serves, it depicted four statues that looked an awful lot like the ones we've got here there really be a connection? Hmm, well, it certainly warrants an investigation. All right. Hey, Adel. Let's say we split our efforts. I think I have an idea. I'll get my stuff together and return to the Elder Mountains while you head to the abandoned mine. Ah, oh, you intend to see Bearheart. Yeah, the old master. He knows more about Felgana's legends and folklore than anyone else, so he can probably fill in some of the blanks. Plus, he might know something about Chester's situation. He was Chester's master's too, master too, after all. Might have some idea why that idiot's been acting like such a jerk. I'll speak with Chester... Hecker. I'll speak with Chester directly at the castle. He may be more likely to grant Father Pierre's release than Maguire. I'll also see if I can learn anything pertinent about the statues while I'm there. Sounds like a plan. Hope you can talk your way through that thick skull of his. Adel, I'll catch you later. Good luck in the abandoned mine. Don't get yourself killed without me, you got it? You have a chance too. be sure to check on Elena. I feel bad for her, poor kid. Make sure we get this all sorted out for her sake. Don't you feel bad for me? I just got here, I just wanted to relax. Alright, Adel. The entrance to the abandoned mine is next to the quarry's storehouse. 
at the bottom of the first vertical shaft. I'll go on ahead and get the door open since the lock's kind of tricky. Get your stuff together and meet me there, okay? Are you sure that's wise, Dewey? Monsters aside, remember the quarry's off limits right now. If Squire's men catch you there. It won't be a problem. I'll bring Paul and Ricardo for manpower, and we'll be in and out before anyone's the wiser. Got it, Adel? Don't keep us waiting. You know where we'll be, so hurry up. I don't think I want to visit Home Chick Slice. I'll be fine. I do want to visit Homeboy Slice. 34 for this. Wow, I did not want to... I tried to upgrade my armor. Wow. I got five thousand. A better upgrade. Ooh, ice goes up. the abandoned Edo, please wait. Thank goodness I caught you. I wanted to apologize for what Chester did, I mean. I know it's a little I know it's little comfort, but he's my brother and I felt I should give you something as an apology on his behalf. The wing talisman family heirloom of sorts. Adoptive family heirloom, anyway. Full of spiritual energy. Supposedly, if you envision one of the old travel monuments while stroking its feathers, you'll be sent right there. Think of it as a very useful good luck charm. For me, I'll be alright. I've been contemplating all the horrible things my brother's been doing. And I know I should be angry with him, and I am, don't get me wrong. But no matter what, he's still my brother. I'll always love him just the same. He's the only true family I have. But like I said, I'll be all right. I don't know if I got through to him or not. I just know that I want all of this to stop. He's putting himself and everyone else in such danger. Oh, Adel. If you see my brother again on your travels, would you please tell him something for me? Don't go out of your way to find him, of course. I just mean if you cross paths again, tell him I said thank you for the pendant. Adel silently nodded at his consent. I appreciate it, Adel. Such a mess. Crying doesn't help anything. You're headed to the abandoned mine, right? Please be extra careful for me, okay? I'm gonna be extra careful for me. Okay? For me? Oh. You guys got some HP on them. These are not the same wolves. Uh, sound for for uh, moving around. Kind of like a horse gallop, but not.
don't quite remember it being this way, but I think it's this way. I guess it is. Our bombs pending. And the green reads, we love you, Bob. Bob did. Hmm. Oh, that's that's pretty handy. That is pretty handy. All right. Uh, it is 7:24. I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits here for today. Um, made a, made a little bit of progress. Um, I gotta try to remember to go back into that those ruins and explore all that stuff before the other spot. Um, so I'll try to remember that tomorrow. You know, there might be like a ruby or something like that in there that I, I can get. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific for more. Ease. Free. The Oath of Felgana. Peace.